What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Trader Happy Hour. I hope everyone's having a great day. And of course, I hope you had a phenomenal week. Now, uh, definitely the market has, has uh, sparked back up a little bit. Uh, definitely some, some positivity here, some things to look at, and some things to go over. But I'm definitely excited. Winter is coming, and it is going to be, hopefully beautiful for long bias traders and just traders in general. I mean, I I'll love to see the volatility definitely come back. And again, the signs are there. They are being shown. Let's actually just jump right into it and look at the the overall markets here in the QQQ. I mean, so here's the uh, three-year one day. We take a look at this quite a bit. Uh, I brought up, you know, had some nice bounces here, but it's been consolidated and going sideways, and that's just not what we like. We like either up or down. If it's going up or down, it's doing something. We usually see plays that way. We see more volatility, cleaner charts. It's, it's just better. And it's been sideways, and it just hasn't been ideal. It's been very slow, very boring, and very low success of success, uh, very low chance of success on these plays. But uh, today, well, yesterday and then today, we have seen a gap and just pretty decent spike. And then today it breaks consolidation, so that is broken consolidation to the upside. This is very bullish. Now again, can it just gap down and kind of go back under Monday? Sure, probably. Right, especially because this is all about uh, the CPI reports. They're seeming they're going to come in a little under than expected, which means that the whole problem is that they're like, oh, like that means that the uh, the Fed might not raise the rates as high. But that's assuming that the Fed wants positivity. They don't. I, I every announcement I've seen from them, every speech and whatever, they they always dismiss good news. They they always those conveniently aren't the numbers that they look at. Anything that's good, right? They just focus on the negatives. So this might be short lived, right? That that is the thing here. Uh right now the markets are great, but I mean come December when they have another announcement, they kind of another update and, and recap. I mean they could just shit all over this. It's it's that simple. Um and then we can see this just come back down again. But until then and until then, right, we can see some nice market momentum to the upside, some bullish momentum. Uh, hopefully, now, players have been coming back. Um, yesterday, I didn't see anything. I just didn't like anything. Um, because in my opinion, it really did this all pre-market where it gapped, and it really just went straight up. It wasn't like it gapped up and it showed momentum to the upside. So the things uh, had followed in sympathy and gapped up that morning. It really just spiked right up. Um, and then it was kind of just a slow grind up all day and large caps followed that, but that doesn't really offer risk. That doesn't really offer like risk reward or it doesn't really have any volatility. So it's just not kind of my, my specialty. Um, so I kind of just stayed away yesterday, just kind of watched. And then today I, I took a, a decent show. We can look at that because we can talk about earnings winners. That is something I took a piece on today. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna be looking for the upside momentum. I think, uh, a lot of charts had some nice bullish action on them and they have set up. So now hopefully we can take a look at some multi-D plays uh, that are going to be developing for next week. And that's kind of the objective for next week is, is hopefully see some plays set up on the uh, on the daily, just multi-day setups. Hopefully we see some cleaner charts intraday, some, some higher success uh, rates of plays because I mean, still intraday, I I'm still noticing it is, it is choppy. It's kind of going up, it's going down. It's, it's tough. You have to be. You have to be patient still. But let's get into. Uh, let's get into my trade soon. Yep. Okay. So this was an earnings winner. Now with earnings winner, here's what I noticed. I have noticed that there really isn't any indication of what's going to be good and what's going to be bad. Right. Well, I could left my camera the way it was. So. I always try to look for similarities, statistics that, that show that there's a, a trend in which earnings winners spike, right? Because some of them have had some really nice days and some of them fail. And I've noticed that if it beats the the estimated, doesn't mean it's going to spike. I still see um, stocks that, that they beat earnings and they had a bad day. They crashed like this one, right? Um but I just haven't seen anything that really kind of gives like any key indications that, okay, this is going to be a play today. What I have noticed is, is that for earnings, 
they are only a morning play and it is for a morning spike. I've seen some that have been delayed. I, I've seen some that have kind of set up out the open, maybe kind of came down a little bit and then had that spike. I've seen some that have been delayed on the daily where they have gone for it, they dropped earnings, did nothing, did nothing, and then that spike. Um, it, but for the majority of the time, I've seen if a stock is going to beat earnings and it is going to do something that day, it is going to be a morning spike, and then I'm not touching it or looking at it the rest of the day because it's just not going to do anything. Uh, real quick, I saw a lot of people were looking at, was it comp? Yeah, comp today. This is an earnings winner. Like I said, morning spike, beautiful morning spike. Should have taken this one. Um, clearly, as it went from two two to four dollars and twenty cents, so two dollars a share, hundred percent move. Um, no, yeah, no, almost. It would have been what four four. It would have had to have been for hundred percent, but close. So definitely the move. But like people were like buying it in here, looking for that that kind of really came the highest. Kind of like I was with a uh, what was that trade? PVRB was that what I traded in the charity live stream? I was coming from the same thing. It's they're just not working. It's just only in the mornings that I've really seen the plays. If it does do something, it's very rare. Um, but let's go back. So going back to this play, um, soon is I'm just gonna call it soon. Um, S O U N is um a former runner it has run before it has been a nice play before and i saw you know it announced earnings they beat earnings um i had some nice action pre-market and i was like okay okay let's look for the uh morning spike that's what we're gonna be going for here uh i was thinking 2.4 was my ideal entry that's what i wanted uh it looks when you zoom in it looks like a, a big spike but uh when you kind of zoom out and that's what i was kind of focusing on it really doesn't look all that big Right, because it had nice little pops here. So I was looking for that 2.4 um, entry, risking that low a day. So 2.3, risking 10 cents a share. So you went one two five. I'm up 1R, 2.6, I'm up 2R. And that's where I took half size off. I was going to take another quarter off at 2.8 area. And then just kind of from that, look at the price action and then take my last quarter off somewhere. Right, but uh, yeah, I took a lot off here just in case. Wanted to play it a little bit safer, um, and thank God I did because this thing failed and it failed miserably. Um, ended up moving my risk to my entry because I'm like, if it makes a move like this, this spiking with that volume, if it comes back down to lows, I mean, it's not going to work out. So you might as well get out at entry. To be honest, I could have risked two, four, five as well because I mean, this hard of a pullback is is not good. Yeah, it's not good. It's not a, a good look. It's not something you want to see that big of a pullback on this move. But uh, yeah, it just didn't work out. So that's why you got to play it safe. That's why you got to use hard stops and use risk levels because, I mean, if you kind of just hold and hope, you're going to be hoping for a while. But it was decent. That's the only thing I'm really looking for on, on earnings winners. I'm not seeing, again, any statistics to back up how to figure out which ones are really going to work. It's really just out of the open. You kind of got to just pick the right one. And that's too much of a gamble for me. Like I said, this one was a recent run a recent runner, former runner. Um, so that's why I had a little bit more confidence in this because it has that ability to spike. Um, it also showed kind of indication pre-market. So I took a chance. I, I it went from a 50-50 to a 75% success and it ended up hitting, um, sort of. But yeah, so earnings winners, that's just all I'm kind of looking for. I, I'm really kind of ignoring them on my scanners unless I recognize the stock. If I recognize the stock and it looks pretty good, then I'll maybe look for this morning move again and kind of play it like that. But um, other than that, I'm staying away from them after the after the morning. I'm just looking for these nice momentum morning spikes and, uh, again, being real picky about which ones I do pick. Now, um, whoops, something I am looking at. I ran out of paper, so I wrote it on my hand. SDS. This could be a nice play as well. I'm looking for Monday. So as you see, it kind of just held today. And then towards the end of the day, had a nice beautiful run on great volume. The reason why I'm interested in this is because of the daily. Now, this doesn't necessarily paint the picture. As you can see here, it did have a nice little breakout right here. Um, about $7.91. So, I mean, that is positive. It does have that volume. But what I really like about it is that if we zoom out a little bit more, 
this is a recent runner, right? These things you got to keep an eye on um, for when they could come back because recent runners, they, they show the, not recent runners, former runners show that they have the ability to do this. They have the ability to spike. They have the ability to have large uh, volume traded on them. Now, of course, you'd want more volume than this. Uh, I mean, I guess not. I guess 10 million is pretty good because the way I look at it is like a, the dollar volume. So if it's over 20 million, I'm happy with that. If you trade 10 million on a eight dollar stock that's 80 million so I, I guess pretty good volume but i mean but i mean yeah it, it shows it, it can do this right the this chart's a lot uglier you can see it's a lot it probably didn't trade real well but you can tell yeah it just seems pretty uh pretty choppy here so who knows we have this nice little breakout here it kind of comes up on a resistance right here that's where it kind of closed at so I'm going to be keeping an eye on this. I mean, it had the volume pop back up again. It's done it before and recently. Maybe we can get a nice little bounce to the 12s. Maybe. That is a possibility. Again, got to do your own due diligence. Kind of play it how, how you how you feel, right? And just, again, use money that you can afford to lose. Don't be using money you can't, right? You don't want to get hurt in this. Um, but yeah, I like the stock for, for next week, especially if we have uh, some bullish momentum going into it. But, uh, geez, uh, we can look at MUL and this is gonna be the last stock I look at today. That's not it. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna look at MUL and because had a nice little run here, big sell off. A lot of people got caught in this and I'm liking the volume staying. So MUL and is going to be a, a watch for me. I'm going to keep an eye on it because the volume has continued. I mean, it is trading, it's trading good volume. And it really hasn't let off the gas volume wise, except for like kind of like right here. But um, who knows? Maybe we can get a little bit of a bounce going, right? Maybe we can kind of have this pop back up. Maybe we can have some more volume kind of come in. I don't know. I know for sure that as long as it has volume, it has spike ability. And that's why I'm going to keep it on watch for now, especially because, like I said, multi day plays are the best, right? They're going to work the best, they're going to be the safest. So I'm not seeing anything set up multi-day yet um muln is something that has those levels that are built in some say that they're good or they're bad because you know the levels are built in which means you're going to have some resistance this thing just ran it has bag holders still which means there's people still holding from all the way up here people are still holding at at 60 cents 55 50 45 that are all going to be looking to get out as this thing goes up right so that's why i don't think it's going to go up and retest 60 or even break it but maybe if this thing can keep these levels and keep consolidating with this volume, maybe we could get a nice little spike out of this. So that's when we keep an eye on it. I'm going to let it set up and it shows me what it's going to do, right? And I'm going to go off of that because I don't know what this thing can do. I mean, it might have another leg down and maybe that's going to be offering another nice first green day. Who knows? But as long as this volume's here, I'm going to keep an eye on it. And uh, let's go check to see how the market closed. Yeah, I mean, so far it's holding. Um, it seems like after I've been pre-market lately, it has been, it has been uh, just pretty, pretty steady. As you can see, like I was talking about here, let's move the camera real quick. That's what I was talking about when it had that big gap. It went up in like a minute, like two minutes. So it kind of didn't give any other stocks any time to uh, move as well. But yeah, I mean, stock market looks good. This is that uh, resistance, that breakout. So. I mean, it was nice. I was thinking about playing the high day break on this this morning. Let's move the camera again. I was thinking about buying it in the in the two eight threes, but I decided not to. I should have. Although I would have gotten stopped out here, so it wouldn't have been as nice of a play. But definitely a nice little move here. This kind of reminds me of IC. You got to keep your eyes on them because that sounds like it was a joke or something. But I didn't mean it that way. But um, if you guys remember when I did trade IC, I have the I have the video on YouTube. I, I live traded. It was it was pretty good. It, it kind of made a move to the upside, kind of held, and that's where I kind of got out. And it came down back to the original levels um, around the 11 to 12 time frame. And then you got that slow grind that really made the bigger move. Um, so that's going to be a, a little, I guess, play that I'm going to be keeping an eye on. I mean, stocks do that, it, it seems like, where, where sometimes they go and they set up and they make that, that move. And when they kind of come back down, there was that ability to possibly still have that slow grind back up. 
I, I can't remember the uh, the uh, date that I traded that, but I'll have the I'll have the video like right there, right there. Yeah, but uh, it was it was a solid trade. But um, yeah, something to keep an eye on because it, it did like the same thing that I, uh, I see did that day. So I would have gotten stopped out if I played it around here, but taking the secondary move would have been nice. But I'm optimistic. Uh, I I'm definitely happy whether whether the Fed is going to be optimistic or not. I don't care. I mean, for right now, it seems like we are going to be having momentum in the market. It seems that we're going to be a little bit more bullish. I'm happy about that. I mean, crypto has been having a terrible past couple days, and the market has not seemed to have reacted to it at all. Like, it just doesn't care. It seems like reality setting crypto world, and now the market is like, hey, we're just going to keep doing our thing, right? Um, so it's consolidated, which is good. It, it made a nice base to possibly spike further. I mean, this is kind of where you'd want to see a nice bounce because usually the bounces we've seen prior, it has been kind of a sharp uh, dive down and then that quick bounce up, right? But now you kind of have it come down. It's pulled back a lot more than it's had before. And now it's consolidating, right? Now it's creating those levels, creating those bases. And now we're going to hopefully see a bigger jump up because it has something to create. It created something to then go off of, right? It's not just kind of just going off of nothing. So I'm optimistic. I'm excited to see what it does. And again, just got to keep an, uh, an ear to the market, keep your finger on the pulse and figure out what it's going to do. Like, and just not even figure out what it's going to do, but just watch what it does and then react based off of that and adapt to that. You know, um, I still wouldn't be investing. Uh, day trading seems to have really been where it's at because these nice quick little moves have, have been what's been working. Uh, but who knows, if we kind of see this thing really take off from this consolidation, maybe I'd consider some swing trades. Because um, if we kind of see the next couple months be nice and, and bullish, then we might be able to see some of these oversold stocks maybe kind of get revived a little bit. I'm hoping soon hopefully next week we'll start to see some former runners come back alive sometimes that happens where these stocks get really beat up the stock market kind of makes a turn makes a bounce and some of these stocks that just gotten so beat up like mulln they just kind of come back and we kind of see like nice multi-day moves from them and and who knows maybe a nice little run but that is going to be it i hope you guys enjoyed i hope this helped right um but let me know how your week went down in the comments down below did you guys have a good week uh, positive negative like green or red i know for me i definitely had a green week it wasn't the most ideal though it was green but it was boring uh i minimal trades i hope that changed next week because i definitely have an itch to trade um i mean when you can trade it's just fun right so hopefully we have some plays back but that is going to be it, everybody. I hope you guys have a phenom phenom phenomenal weekend. All right? But that is going to be it. I'll be seeing you guys Wednesday for the midweek recap. Peace. I need to scream out loud. I can't stop me. I want to be the greatest like Rocky. You know I leave them all hate like a hobby.